Here are the many, many faces of the Kotlin for loop. You have the typical for i in 0 to 10. Then you do something with the i, you print it, you get 10. If you find yourself having a list and then you go and do list of i, then you are doing it wrong. There is a loop for that. And that goes like for i in list dot indices. Then you can print list of i, you get the items. Say you want the items and the index. You go and say index element in list dot with index. Now you can do index and element zero one two three. Now you have a bigger list. You can go and iterate over it in the same for loop with iterator that you saw in the beginning, but this time you'll step two indices at once, not one by one. We go from zero to list dot size, step two. And inside, what do we do? We print list of i. Wrong. You don't print list of i here, you use list dot indices. Here, let's just print the i, for example, and say index is i. So you have zero, two, four, six, eight, ten. Jumps two by two. You can jump as many as you want. That's the for loop with range and step. This is the range, this is the step. And then there is the very pretty, the one that we're all used to, element in list, print element. This one is just a for loop over a collection. Then you can turn it back into the same loop that we saw dot with index just a while ago. Print the element and the index. Say you have an array now. The same for loop over the collection will work on the array as well. Element. There's another type of range, not just the dot dot. There's also for element in zero until, for example, list.size. Let's see what this does. Print that, so you got from zero to nine. What is this suggestion? This is the same as list.indices. That is why I say many faces, because you can do the same kind of thing in different ways. The until range for it to make sense, you would have to go for i in zero until 10 print i. But if you want an until to be used to go from zero to the end of an array, just use indices, it already does that. Remember this i for i and zero until 10 step two. We've seen how we can turn this into until, but you can also down two. But now you need to flip the variance. So until you reach zero, so down to zero, stepping two at a time, print i. So that is the opposite of until 10 step two. It's the flip side. So say you have a double loop from zero to 10. Then you got the j 0 to 10. Then you're going to say if i is smaller than j, whatever, you break. This will break to here. So it will repeat from here onwards. If you want to break to outside, break entirely, you label this loop with something. Break at loop. You can call it my loop, no problem. You can break to here. It shouldn't be capital. Okay, you get the point. So what if you want to look ahead while you're looping to see the next item? This doesn't have a special loop associated with it, but here's the technique anyway. You get your current item, list of zero. You loop from i in zero until list.size. Now you get the first item from the list, list of i, first according to the loop, not according to your logical first, because the first one you already grabbed before getting in here. Now you have num, now you have the current. So you're holding one item and you're looking ahead to the other. If the number is equal to current or whatever you want to do with it, then you do the replacement where current is now equal to the num. This must be a var, then you're good. So we're gonna print 
current is current, ahead is num. The first time one and one, then it's one and two, two and three, three and four. You're, you're always having one extra item. So this comes up often in life where you have to do this. This is how you do it. One last example is say you have a map where uh, it's a string to integer map. You want to loop over that. You go same with the index element syntax. You do key value in map print key is key and value is value. Now you have the key and the value. That is everything for how you can loop with Kotlin. It's a lot and it bugged me that there's so many of them. So I wanted to make a video for me, myself and you, of course, so we can all benefit and live long and be happy.